I started out as a pediatrician. You know, when you're a practicing physician, you make a huge difference to people one person at a time. When you're in public health, your patient isn't an individual. Your patient is a community, a, a nation, or even sometimes the world. You know, 60 to 80 percent of what determines one's health outcome is actually factors like income, opportunities for assets, education, public safety, whether or not there's a grocery store in your neighborhood. I really felt like at this point in time that a lot of the things that I had done globally were needed here in our own backyard. Well, the Chicago Community Trust is a community foundation. We exist to connect generous donors with the communities that they that they love. She arrived at Trust when it was in the midst of a pivot after a hundred years of existence. So what do you do when you have a very well positioned hundred year old organization in some quarters, but one that is completely unknown in others, particularly the communities it's asked to serve. And when we looked at so many of the issues that uh, we face here, the issues of public safety and violence, or the life expectancy gap, or lack of access to a high quality education, et cetera, if you look at these challenges, underneath all of these is this wealth inequality. And so we're really working to look at how we help to increase household wealth, how we help to uh, invest in neighborhoods where there's been major disinvestment, and how we empower citizens so that their voices are at the table and they can uh, really be able to be actors in their own stories and, and uh, tell their own stories. I'm very pleased that I was part of the inaugural group of people who got the Mayor's Medal of Honor because of the work that we did around the COVID pandemic. And we, along with the um, United Way of Metropolitan Chicago, were able to raise $35 million, started the Chicago COVID Relief Fund, to be able to get relief to the families who were hurting. Chicago Community Trust has continued to be a strong partner with the city. And now we have started an initiative that is really focused on recovery and how do we make sure that the communities and households that were most hurt by this pandemic are able to recover and not be left further behind. We want to make sure that all people have the opportunity to realize their full potential and to be able to, to prosper. The trust has had some extraordinary leaders under its time. The uh, community trust has been changed and likely changed forever because of her existence.